Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles in the New England Motorcycle Museum. And today we've got an absolutely gorgeous 1979 Yamaha Daytona Special RD400. This is the holy grail of RDs. This is a one year only model, uh, limited production uh, model commemorating the Daytona 400, or Daytona uh, 200, excuse me. Um, and it's a 400cc twin cylinder two stroke with a six speed transmission, reed valve induction. Um, just a fantastic motorcycle. When I was a kid, I had one of these. Um, I'm 52. I had one of these in the 80s when I was in my uh, late teens, early 20s, and I absolutely loved it. Um, it was the same exact bike as this. It was set up the same way with chambers on it, and it was an absolute beauty machine. This came from the Blake Will Collection. Blake, Blake had 14 or 15 RZs and RDs, and due to some uh, issues with his wife where she kind of went postal, uh, on them and made them sell his whole collection. He sold all of them. Blake actually is one of our employees here. Uh, and he um, did our internet, he did our website and all that other stuff. And uh, he's been helping us out for a few years with all our IT stuff. And he decided to sell this collection, so we're selling this bike, uh, this RD. Uh, this is the last of the two, the, the last uh, one of two RD Daytona specials that he had that uh, we sold for him. And it'll, this is a last um, of his collection. They're all done. So, in any event, uh, the um, bike is absolutely stunning. The red and white. This is a pearl white paint job with the black and red. It's Yamaha factory racing colors. Uh, it's a Kenny Roberts memorial. Kenny Roberts, uh, Kenny Roberts and Mike Baldwin raced these. It's an international Yamaha team pearl white with the bright red racing stripe. One of the last air-cooled two-strokes sold in the United States. The Yamaha had the RZ after this, but it's one of the last models and certainly the last year of the RD. Um, the bike uh, has going to need some work. The engine needs to be completely rebuilt. Uh, it kicks over, but the compression is low, so it's going to need um, pistons, rings, top end bearings, gaskets, probably reed valves. Um, it's going to need the crank rebuilt. Uh, the transmission seems to be good at the shift in and out of gear. Uh, the carburetor tops that are around here are not the originals. Um, they're, uh, it's going to need the original carb tops. See the original carbs, but it's going to need the original carb tops. It does have the K&N filters and it has a nice set of chambers on here. I'm not sure whose chambers these are, if they're DG or not. It wasn't, I didn't see a code on them. I'm not really sure. I'd be guessing if I told you. But a nice set of chambers that will certainly sound really gnarly. Um, so figure on a full uh, split the cranks, full rebuild on the engine. Um, there's a couple of uh, um, you know, there's companies out there that sell the Wiseco sells the pistons. You can put a new piston, bore it out, uh, rebuild the carbs. They're very easy to work on. Certainly worthy of restoring. It has a pearl, it's been repainted. It's a pearl white Yamaha paint job. The original uh, I think it's like a four coat process to get the pearl, but it's a really beautiful color and it has the factory logos on there. So. Um, the side panels are in perfect condition and the rear panel is in excellent shape. The front fender had some body work done to it. There were some dings and dents in it, so it's not perfectly straight, but it certainly looks nice. You wouldn't notice it unless I pointed it out, which I'm pointing out to you. The front fender had some dings in it. The headlight has some dings in it. Um, it's serviceable, it's usable, but it's not perfect. And the tachometer and speedometer glass uh, needs to be replaced. Probably a plan on a new tach and speedometer also. Uh, brakes are the original 40 year old brake system. It's going to need a uh, rebuild of the master cylinder and also the on off button is missing right here. Um, cosmetically it's gorgeous but again it's going to need a full rebuild. Um, you need a new throttle tube also. Um, rear tail lights in gorgeous condition. The Marzaki shocks are just beautiful uh, high end Marzaki shocks. I assume those are probably a four or five hundred dollar pair of shocks. Uh, the original Yamaha factory mags are beautiful. The frames in beautiful condition. Um, the rims are, take a close up of the rims, Kenny. The rims are beautiful. The front forks are beautiful. Uh, no rust. Blake had these stored in a uh, heated area, so um, his, these were his prized possessions. And one of the reasons his wife was so pissed is he spent so much time playing with them, but uh, he, uh, he sold them all and he's still with her. So God bless him. I'm divorced, so uh, maybe I should have. Um, Sold my bikes, but I didn't. <laughs> and uh, he did, and he's still married. So maybe there's a lesson to be learned there. This bike, again, cosmetically, it's absolutely stunning, but it's going to need a rebuild. Here's an opportunity to buy a gorgeous RD 
and rebuild the engine you, the way you want it. At a low entry cost as well. At a low entry so. cost. I mean, the NAD a value on this bike is close to $10,000. So there's a lot of room for sweat equity and the parts for the bottom end and the top end aren't going to cost much, probably under $500 in parts on the engine. Um, you can find the car parts online use. You already got the chambers, the pipes, the um, boots, the uh, uh, air filters, the um, shocks are beautiful and it's got a nice paint job on it. So cosmetically for a rider, I mean it's not a museum piece, it's not perfect, but um, for a rider, rebuild the motor, put some gauges on it, send it. Um, fantastic bike to ride. The uh, pegs are in perfect condition, nothing bent over here. Great lever. Uh, Kickstarter's in beautiful shape. Body pegs are in nice shape. Swing arms are beautiful. The um, bearings are nice and tight. Uh, again, the, the tack and speed are going to need to be replaced. Um, the bars are beautiful. The bars look like they're brand new. Uh, in fact, they might be. I'm not really sure. The grips are brand new. Has the original Yamaha RD400 mirror. Um, this is a Yamaha. Uh, you can see the Yamaha logo on the, on the mirror. Again, stunning bike. Going to need to rebuild it. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. This is, again, one of our employees here. It was his bike. The uh, chain on it is brand new. He just put a new chain on it. Shocks are beautiful. Come around this side, Kenny. Show him this side of the engine. The pegs, I don't think it's ever been dropped. The pegs are in excellent condition. Uh, shifter is in excellent condition. No road rash on the, on the shifter or, or pegs. Even the bottom of the pegs are mint. Uh, new spring on the kickstand, looks to be brand new. Um, paint job on the motors, been redone at some point. So uh, again, oh, the, uh, the um, I want to put up the headlight uh, stays. We had a, a two RDs of Blake's here. The other one was, ran perfectly and was obviously worth more than this one because it ran perfectly and it was all 100% original. Uh, but the, um, the headlight mounts were bent and I was going to take the headlight mounts off of this one because these are perfect, but we didn't, we left them on here. So these headlight mounts, although the headlight has a little bit of cosmetic damage to it, the, these headlight mounts are perfect. The ears are perfectly straight, indicating that this bike probably wasn't dropped. Uh, so um, again, it's a beautiful bike. I love these. It's, in my opinion, the nicest looking RV ever made. And uh, it's the one with the highest value of, of any of the RDs today. So uh, buy this bike, and you know, with any NADA value close to ten grand, the H2s are up in the fourteen, fifteen thousand dollar range. These RDs are in the nine to ten thousand range for a perfect example. So plenty of room, plenty of equity to buy this at a low entry cost and, and, and build it the way you want it. So good luck bidding on the bike. I'm going to roll it back into the museum, put it on display. Um, it's a beautiful piece to look at. If you want to just keep it the way it is, roll it in your man room, put it in your museum the way it is as a testimony to the era of two strokes. It's, it's a beauty to look at, but if you want to ride it, rebuild the motor, make it your way. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America and God bless Yama for building kick-ass bikes like this.